Hey guys, we're at the Excel Group headquarters in Southern California. We're looking at the new Raleigh Tamlin IE, and it's got the stock Broza display panel on it. So I wanted to go through that with you really quickly here. I love that this display unit is removable, so you can take it off the bike. It won't get scratched or beaten down by the weather. It's got an integrated full-size USB port. Actually, it's a little bit easier to see with the display off. This offers five volts, 500 milliamps, and it's, again, USB type A, so it's full size. You don't need any kind of adapter. On this configuration, it might be a little bit difficult to reach, just the top cap there, but the whole display unit can swivel up. And we've also got the button pad mounted on this little accessory bar here versus over within reach. It's a pretty versatile display system. I really like how bright it is, but I've noticed that I have to turn on the battery pack before I can activate the display. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that, press power, comes to life very quickly, and it's relatively bright. I'll tip the bike to the side a little bit. I notice that when you press the buttons, it goes bright for a second and then goes dim so that it's not as distracting, possibly at night. There's a light button over here on the right, and if we tap that, it would turn on any integrated lights, a headlight, a rear light, but this bike doesn't have those, so I'm gonna turn that off again. The menu button down here on the right, it changes through the different trip stats. So right now we have total miles, it's like an odometer. And then we've got total time ridden, clock, trip distance, trip average speed, and trip time. And then it, it cycles back. If you want to clear those stats, so for example, we have our trip average speed four miles per hour. I hold the menu button and then tap the light button and then it resets and it clears all of the menus there. So now not only the trip average speed, but also the trip time is cleared. Up on the top, we have a power button and you can turn off just the display by pressing it, but you'll notice that the battery pack is still on. That stays on for about two hours, then it goes into deep sleep mode. If you want, you can completely turn the bike off by holding the power button for three or four seconds, or you can press that physical button down there. So up here above the display pad, we have up and down arrows as well as another menu button. So I can press that menu button, cycle through the different trip stats we were looking at a minute ago. And then if we go up from the default, which is cruise, we'll go up to tour and then sport is the highest. If we go all the way down to no assist, you'll notice this little arrow appeared and that's walk assist. So in order to activate walk assist, you hold the down arrow for a couple of seconds and there we go. The bike's operating, and you can see there's a little figure there showing a guy pushing a bike up a hill. That's useful for if you get a flat tire, or you're walking through some grass, or maybe some soft terrain, some snow. And finally, in order to change units from miles to kilometers, we would turn just the display off. The bike is still on. And then we're gonna hold the power button and the menu button together for a few seconds. And there we go. Now we can see kilometers per hour. Well, I think that's about it, guys. I like this display because it has USB power port built in. You could have your phone or maybe a GPS unit or an additional light up here on the handlebars if you wanted to. And it's just, you know, it's removable, it's bright, it's easy to use. It's kind of got all the features that I would like. I'm gonna go ahead and scan and upload the full manual, all the settings for this back at the Electric Bike Review forums. You can check it out there. I'll have a link in the description. Otherwise, have fun out there. Provide any feedback you've got and ride safe.